the top three drivers of the subscription economy anywhere in any business, whether you are the content business, whether you are an e-magazine or whether you are a car subscription business are the following. Your variety, inventory, richness of content or the inventory of cars that you have if you are a car subscription business. Second is the ease with which or the UX with which your consumers, your customers interact with your business. If it is an online business that you are running a subscription on, what are the easiest or the least number of steps in which the consumer or the customer can complete a transaction? The third and the most important, especially for the region that we are in, like it or not, is pricing. Is your pricing right for the product that you are uh, servicing, for, for the product that you are selling, for the market that you are in, and for the life stage that the category is in, in the market that you are in right now? The, the customers that you are servicing, are they in the are they ready to pay the price that you are commanding? So pricing is obviously a very, very complex subject. So we're not getting into that today, but just to summarize for you, the variety, the depth and the inventory of the content or the product, the UX or the ease with which customers can interact with your business. And of course, the right pricing for the product that you are selling would be the three top drivers of the subscription economy. So the concerns about subscription services can be addressed in a couple of ways. Uh, the most important way is to put yourself in the shoes of the consumer, right? Um, when we build consumer purchase pathways, uh, they look really cool on our laptops and on our boardroom screens. Uh, let's try and live those consumer purchase pathways to see where the consumer might fall off, where there may be a difficulty, where there may be a, you know, a trip off point where it's not working out for the consumer. So uh, where does the journey needs to be smoothened out? Where is there a flaw in the system? So we've got to get out of uh, the laptop uh, or, or, the, or the blueprint of the consumer purchase pathway and really uh, become the consumer before we sort of roll out the exact uh, pathway to the consumer. That's number one. Number two, I think, is in awareness creation. Uh, a lot of fears around this subscription service is so tough to cancel. I do not know how to sign up. Uh, you're going to run away with my credit card. You know, those fears are often unfounded because the consumer actually needs to be educated. And guess what? I know the minute you hear education, marketers be like, oh my God, that's so boring. How can I do that? But the real truth about education is that a good marketer can make even education fun. So think about how you can make your product education and the awareness about each of these trigger points about your subscription business. How can you make that fun for your consumers? Uh, education needn't be boring. So I think I'd recommend just these two things to think about uh, when you alley fears such as the one that we talked about, about your subscription business. One is to become the consumer yourself and really go through the entire uh, purchase pathway. And second is really to think about uh, besides doing all the uh, you know nice cool ads that you do about your subscription business, how are you actually making them aware of these uh, of these pain points? How how are you really thinking through the education process of your business? That should sort of take care of both. There are some key indicators uh, I'd suggest keeping in mind. One is the is the penetration of the category you are in, um, your product is in, is it mature enough, right? What does that mean? Do you have enough, and you will define that, do you have enough new users coming in for your product uh, month on month, right? Uh, do you have enough returning users uh, who are coming back for your product month on month? That's number two. Number three, is the recurring cost of you getting new and existing users over time lessening 
uh, by a fair amount because you, obviously you're getting more and more uh, returning users, right? And number four, that's something that you'll have to learn how to measure. Are your users becoming your becoming advocates for your brand? So when you measure these quantitative and qualitative uh, factors, uh, you might be able to decide if it's the right, uh, if those are some of the right indicators for you to become a subscription model or adopt a subscription model for your business.